welcome or welcome back to my channel it's pluto of pluto's muse here back with another timeless pick a card reading uh title intuitive guidance for the week ahead these are general messages so take what resonates and leave the rest it may not resonate completely and that's completely fine um <laughs> you can also check out other piles if you are drawn to more than one um but you have four piles to choose from on the screen please take a second meditate choose your piles um like comment share and subscribe if you enjoy this reading turn on your notification bells check the description box down below to book a personal reading book a personal reading if you need further guidance channel songs are also located down below and i'll see you in your pile hi pal one welcome and welcome back to my channel you are the pile that chose image one all right um before we actually get into the actual tarot cards and things like that i am going to read an excerpt from um a year of positive thinking this affirmation book well it's not really an affirmation book <laughs> but it's a year of positive thinking it has, has like quotes and things in it it's a book that I use to channel off of prior to actually getting into your piles then I'm going to read off the numbers and then um we'll get into your message but overall right now before we actually get into your uh, book messages and the tarot i'm picking up on this vibe around karma pile one all right this is a very karmic week for you now karma isn't a negative thing there is a lesson that is being learned um for some of you there could be some sort of illegal things that you're currently going through and if not legal things again in the physical world i'm getting spiritually there's some sort of spiritual energy that is playing out in your life currently I'm not seeing anything negative. I don't want anybody to be stressed out about it um, like too much. It's not given that it's super, super negative. However, I do get a vibe here where um, there's certain things that need to be handled, changed or discussed, um, possibly even addressed that haven't been um, that involve your future the trajectory of your life, where you're headed. Um, and this could be in relation to love. This could be in relation to work. This could be in relation to friendships. There are certain things that you have been meaning to address or have been needing to address that you may not have addressed just yet um, or that you've been avoiding, okay? Uh, and I feel like this is the week where your guides are saying, it's time to nip it in the bud. It's time to make the change. There's also gonna be a transition from Scorpio season Scorpio season into Sagittarius season this week um and for some reason that seems relevant somebody in here could be a Scorpio somebody in here could be a Sag um but I'm getting this transition into this new season is gonna highlight a shift in your own energy so keep this in mind let's see what the book divination says for my pile ones pile one what messages do we have for pile one Pile one, we have July 21st, July 22nd, and July 23rd. Somebody in here could be a Leo or, um, yes, or a Cancer. You could be on the cusp of Leo and Cancer, or those signs are relevant for you. I'm also getting, um, July 21st, July 22nd, July 23rd. That's just Leo, right? Anyway. <laughs> Well, and anyway, um, July 21st reads, it says an exercise in letting go of fear. Fear prevents you from showing up in your greatest capacity. Instead of letting fear dictate your circumstances, use it to shift your, you forward into uncharted territory. Without judgment, list everything that you are afraid of from the seemingly unimportant to your greatest fears of all. Choose five fears and decide on two action steps you can take to move forward letting each fear go repeat as often as necessary yeah so i mean a strong vibe that somebody is needing to release something that they're afraid of or face something that they're afraid of this week i don't know whether you've been stalling this could be again literally in regards to work this could be in regards to a relationship friendships you know maybe there's certain things that have been needing to end that you haven't ended just yet or Maybe there's certain things that you have wanted to start or initiate or speak on that you haven't initiated just yet. I'm just getting that this is the week to address it rather than um, letting it drag out. It says July 22nd. You are not alone. Even during your darkest times, know that you are not alone. You've never been alone. You are loved and you've always been loved. You are needed. You have purpose. You matter. All right. So pot one, you also need to know that you matter. You do matter. Um, and if you are currently going through something that is stressful, 
or confusing um, or you're not completely sure about how to move forward, there are people around you that are willing to assist you. Do not think that you're alone, but also your angels are around you. So I'm also getting this vibe. Like I said, this could be in the physical or the spiritual, this karmic lesson that you're learning. Um, however, I am getting a vibe that if this is a spiritual thing, make sure you are maintaining some level of spiritual practice this week, um, like a ritual or routine. You know, if you're if you're someone that normally doesn't pray, get into prayer. Um, if you're someone that doesn't normally journal and meditate and, you know, connect with your guides, get into that. I'm getting that somebody in this pile needs to get a little bit more um serious about their spiritual practices um possibly even serious just in general in regards to what you want moving forward uh we could be moving into a time where there's a lot of positive things ahead of you um but your procrastination or um lack of action is delaying it you also have july 23rd it says a mantra for doing what feels impossible there will be times when it feels impossible to do the things you believe in, moments when you simply cannot take a step forward. First, show yourself patience. And when you are ready, remind yourself that the only person you can, who can talk you into believing in, in your power is you. Please, <laughs> please forgive me. I feel like Mercury Retrograde is going to be a mess mercury retrograde is coming in too so maybe this is why people are saying um or not even people your spirit guides are saying that you need to get things in order for some of you it could be literal people that are saying something to you um but it says say the following mantra repeatedly throughout your day use it as often as possible and write it down in sticky notes throughout your home as a daily reminder and the mantra is i am incredibly powerful i can do this i will do this I am incredibly powerful. I can do this. I will do this. Okay. This is what you need to tell yourself. This is what you need to repeat for yourself. Write in your journal. Write on your mirror. Um, they're saying maintain that energy that you can do it. Even if you don't feel like you can. Um, signs and numbers that may be relevant. Somebody in here could be 35, 27, 4. <laughs> not 4. Born on the 4th. Born on the 27th. Born on the 23rd. Somebody could be 40 as well. Um, I'm getting Leo and Virgo, Virgo and Libra, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is out here as well. Aries, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Gemini. And in the tarot, we have Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Heavy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So this energy may be relevant for you. Now, it looks like this week there's something going on in regards to, again, action that needs to be taken on your end or possibly something regarding your work, pile one. Um, this could also be how people are feeling towards you. There could be a lot of people that want you to take action towards them, want you to give them your energy, want you to make a move. Like if this is a dating situation, some of you may get a lot of attention this week and um, there's an opportunity for you to date or for you to connect with people, but you're choosing to stay closed off. Um, others of you, I'm getting this vibe where there could be some sort of opportunity in regards to work, a creative opportunity. Um, something about your fashion is significant. So whether this is you starting a blog, you dressing up really nice this week maybe your clothes matter how you dress is how you'll feel so some of you need to maintain a good um wardrobe or update your wardrobe something about your wardrobe is significant um and i know i use that picture on the thumbnail but i'm getting it in the cards as well some of you could be influencers fashion bloggers something like that uh, maybe a lot of people are looking for you to put out more content or put out more stuff that they desire. I don't know if you've been on a hiatus or you've taken a break from what you've been doing, but um, it seems like there's some sort of major shift that you're supposed to be taking either in your love life where you're supposed to be opening up to people or in your career space where you're supposed to be showing people your gifts that you're avoiding. OK, so again, let's say you work a nine to five. If you work a nine to five, but you want to be an, uh, you know, an influencer on the side and you haven't started this business, it's time to start it. If you're someone that doesn't work a nine to five and you are an influencer and you're trying to put out content, whatever it is, but there's like another project that you want to start um, or something else that you're trying to branch into still could be influencing. But maybe you want to start a new project, start a new page, something like that. There is an audience waiting for this from you. But some of you 
you are not taking the action needed to start this thing, to begin this project, um, to expand how you need to. Um, and I do feel like there's someone in your environment or someone around you that could be trying to motivate you this week or um, who could be offering you something. Possibly if this is love related, there could even be a love interest. Some of you guys have a love interest in your space. It seems like a newer person that is wanting to offer you something. Um, if you watch my reading last week, this energy feels similar to last week's reading. I'm even getting if this is a love situation. Some of you are either still in karmic relationships, still tied to karmic contracts of some sort. Could be a karmic job karmic family situation living situation whatever it is or somebody could literally be married somebody in here could be married and needs to get a divorce because I'm picking up on the fact that there's a new opportunity around you um but there's there's a restriction here on your end there's a restriction when it comes to you taking action pile one um on something that needs to end so you can go towards a new beginning this could be a relationship that needs to end, an old job that needs to end, an old business that needs to end, um, or just something that needs to be put on pause so you can start something else. But I get this vibe where there's some sort of disappointment. All right. So some of you, if this is about a relationship, you want to pursue this new relationship or you have a great opportunity around you for something new with someone. Um, but I'm picking up on the vibe here where it's like there's a lack of movement forward because you're still grieving the past or because you feel stuck. Um, for some of you, you feel stuck, but I don't know if this is a stuck that is made by external energies. It's almost like, yes, there could be some sort of spiritual delays. Um, there could definitely be spiritual delays, pile one. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I'm picking up on, um, I'm picking up on a strong, uh, divine guidance type of energy. Now, I don't know if I brought that up in your pile previously, but I am getting this, like, I'm getting that there is something going on karmically within the spirit realm that could have put you in a space of, um, feeling trapped for some of you this is an ego death you need to go through an ego death or you were supposed to go through an ego death your ego is getting in the way of you being able to move forward the way that you want to or do something the right way all right so let's say if this is like a relationship thing you're supposed to be moving forward some of you you definitely need to um get the divorce and get everything sorted out and forgive the past and, you know, work through all this trauma before you move forward. Um, but for others of you, if this is like a work thing, I am getting like the way your ego could be getting in the way is it's keeping you stuck from making certain moves because I don't know if you're trying to maintain a certain image. Um, or again, if you don't want to end something that needs to end, um, to start something new, right? Like maybe part of you is like, I'm not ready to end that thing. I don't think it's time to end that. Or, um, you know, it isn't fully over, you know, like I I'm not getting that something is fully over. Cause you even have a card out here. Some of you guys could be seeing foxes this week. Um, mermaids could be significant as well. Like sirens, something here about your voice, something here about speaking. Um, but we have spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. Some of you are multi-talented in this pile. Um, and even though this does feel love related outside of love, some of you are multi-talented in this pile and there are certain things that you're supposed to be moving forward with or planning out or being more structured in, um, sorting out in general. I'm just getting sorting out things. And it looks like it's something from the past. Some of you need to sort out something from the past this week, um, in order for you to fully feel comfortable with embarking on this new thing. But your ego is keeping you stuck in something. What is this about? What is this about with this ego death? Yeah, I feel like in order for you, maybe your ego is even telling you again, like there's something that you want to do that you're afraid of doing. Look, the tower came out. Some of you are going to have a realization this week that there's something that you want to do that you haven't been doing because you're afraid of other people's judgment or you're afraid of how other people are going to view you, whether it's a project that you want to start, a relationship that you want to begin. Um, and maybe some of you have already realized this. 
like that you're afraid of saying like, hey, that last situation failed. I'm moving into a new one or you're afraid to apologize to someone or forgive someone like there's some sort of energy here being afraid of the judgment of moving forward and doing your own thing. All right. You're afraid to leave this job and start this business because of your past. You're afraid to leave this relationship and start this new one because of an old thing that failed or because of your job situation. This ego, this ego part of you is really getting in the way of you taking action the way that you need to. And some of you have been, been relying so heavily on the divine to assist you. I'm getting this energy of somebody that's been waiting for the universe to give you signs and been waiting for the universe to show you the way or put you on the right path. But this is not the week where waiting for the divine to do it is the answer. The divine is going to put you in very stressful situations and or just make you feel kind of stuck at this time of your life because they want you to get so uncomfortable that you have no other choice but to change pile one that's what I'm getting it's like help me help you is the vibe that I'm getting from your guides your guides want you to know that you'll get justice in a situation you'll get the outcome that you want you'll get the love that you want you'll get the job that you want and all of that but first you have to take the initiative to align with this path the right way before they actually give you the success that you want or um, let you see the fruits of your labor how you want to see them because some of you have been working really hard not all of you are going to end a job or end a project but it's almost like before you expand before you move into this new relationship before you get exactly what you want have you done the work to be prepared for this have you done the shadow work have you tied up loose ends have you closed out old cycles um because you won't be able to receive this thing without closing out those cycles this point blank period some of you are feeling super stressed out super confused <laughs> some of you again I'm, I'm even getting a vibe here too where like for some of you there could be something going on in regards to like a an apology or forgiveness some of you are stressed out about apologizing stressed out about forgiving you know about yeah about forgiving possibly stressed out about whether you will receive some level of grace in a situation um and I feel like you will but it's going to require you to take I'm hearing take your head out your ass I would not say that to you um, so I don't know who's saying that somebody in here, you got a spirit guide that's like real hell bent on letting you know, some of you are stubborn. You've been stubborn. You've been holding yourself back. It's time for you to make a decision and stop avoiding taking the lead. Okay. Because there's something that's unfolding in divine timing because you haven't made the moves needed for you to receive it yet or see it come into fruition fully um and it's almost like again you can't force things to change but there's actions that you need to take in order for things to progress and i'm getting that some of you haven't taken those actions just yet or something like that so your advice is to take the action some of you need to reflect on your past to figure out what you need to change. Some of you already know what it is that you need to fix. What it is that you need to sort out. What it is that you need to change in order for you to move forward. They're saying just do it. Get it done. Alright. That's my message for pile one. Okay. You got sync with the moon. Plan a vacation. Abundance planning. Mmm. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you have goals in mind or things that you want to accomplish. Some of you want to go on a vacation. Some of you want to get your money sorted out. Um, some of you want to update your wardrobe. I'm talking about wardrobe right now. You might be like, damn, I don't have no money for, you know, to improve my wardrobe. I'm getting like, you could definitely thrift. Um, <laughs> but some of you, if, if it's not about thrifting, I'm getting a vibe here where it's like, it's not about what it is that you want. It's about how you're going to get it. So some of you could be thinking a lot about, oh, what am I, what am I going to get? Like, what do I want? Visualizing it is not a problem. Manifesting it by visualizing it is not a problem. But your guides are saying that there's actions that need to be taken and things that need to end in order for new things to come in. So you guys need to kind of um, lock in on that and figure out what that is or what needs to change in order for you to receive these new opportunities or this new type of energy that you want to take on. Um, but with this sync, with the moon card in particular, this oracle has to do with uh, the current moon phase and how it's affecting you. So let me look into this book 
and see what the moon phase is for today while I'm filming this. I'm hearing the song Due West by Kelsey Lou. Okay, somebody could be wanting to move to California or live in California or take a trip to California. Or you already live in Cali. The moon phase for today is waning gibbous. Somebody could also be a June Cancer or Gemini, a December Taurus, or not ooh, Taurus. <laughs> Somebody in here could be a Taurus, December Capricorn or um, Sag. And then I'm getting a Capricorn and what's the name? Capricorn and Aquarius. Okay, so it says, clean house and continue releasing what is no longer serving you. Look, can't make it up. I'm getting, that's the message for the waning gibbous moon. Clean house and continue releasing what no longer is serving you. Some of you, this week, it's time for you to release what no longer serves you. People, places. Um, you know, maybe you can't fully leave the place just yet, but it's time to start planning how to leave. No more daydreaming and hoping and wishing for the universe to have some sort of major shift. The longer you wait, the bigger the tower. All right. Tower moments come in when you don't make any changes that you already felt intuitively pulled to make. And I'm not saying that tower moments are always the worst thing in the world. Sometimes they're beneficial. But I am getting a vibe here where it's like, if there is something that you know you need to shift or change or do or say, this is the time to do it. Okay? Let's get some love oracles as well for pile one. What's the love advice for my pile ones this week? Pile ones love advice. Pile one, you have five, that's May, Taurus and Gemini, or somebody's born on the fifth, Life Path Five. It says, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. All right, heavy on the animals. Some of y'all are seeing foxes, deers, um, wombats. <laughs> um, some of you are seeing squirrels, butterflies. This is relevant for you this week. You also have at the bottom of the deck, 16. Somebody could be born on the 16th. Or somebody is born, uh, could be a Cancer or a Leo. And it says, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Okay, these cards to me are, are actually very single cards. Okay, so this week may be a week where you are kind of focused more on yourself, maybe even focus more on your animals and things like that. Um, but your guys are saying that there's love around you in all kinds of forms. So your love advice is to be kind and show love and recognize love when it's presented to you. But if you want to receive a specific type of love, you're going to have to be prepared to receive that. How's your money looking? You know, do you have the money to do that vacation? Do you have the money to buy the new clothes? You know, are you utilizing the moon phases to manifest? Are you doing the healing? Are you healing from your parents? Are you healing from your exes? Are you healing from different things that you've experienced? Once these things are tied up, you know, and sorted out, then you'll be able to get what you want. But until then, the universe is putting you in a tough position where they want you to sit back and think about what it is that you've delayed. Um... But I'm seeing that progress can be made this week if you start planning, Pile 1. So it's not like you're in the toughest spot ever, but you're going to have to get serious is what I'm getting. That's why I said I feel like this is a serious week for you. Um, your oracles that came out for you. You have, when I lean on certainty and faith, I can change. I'm sorry. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Yes. Yeah, so being certain that your faith will carry you forward is important here. All right. I'm not saying that the divine doesn't have your back or isn't looking out for you. I'm just saying that they need your assistance. You need to look out for them just as much as they look out for you. For some of you, this could even be an ancestral thing. Like if you're someone that works with your ancestors, your ancestors may want something. They may want you to buy them flowers for their grave site or they want you to show them more love. Somebody needs to create an altar or just show them more love somehow. I'm getting like some of you need to show your ancestors more love. Um, yeah, because you also have this, this card that is a tree. 
Um, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> you also have a card that's a tree. It says, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Okay, so trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Some of you are doing some sort of shadow work around your family this week. Mm-hmm. You're trying to work through some sort of trauma so that you're able to make moves that are coming from a space of confidence and uh, growth and love and not fear and insecurity and different things like that. Bottom of the deck you have, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I will focus on will grow. All right. So don't be afraid of what you want. Don't let your ego tell you that it's something wrong or that um, you don't deserve it or whatever it is. But at the same time, they're saying make sure that you are making the moves needed to succeed in whatever path you're aiming to uh, go down. OK, there's nothing wrong with you being confident about where you're headed, but make sure it's successful for you. And success is defined by you. So, you know, whatever you view as success is what it is. But I'm just getting the vibe here that some of you currently are not feeling as aligned as you want to be. Um, and it may be become very clear this week that you aren't or that there are certain things that you haven't addressed that need to be addressed in order for you to align further. Um, and it's not going to be something that you can just have through waiting for the divine to assist you. It's going to take some level of effort on your end, pile one. So that's all that I have. Best of luck to you this week. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe if the message resonated. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um, and channel songs are down below. That's all that I got. Talk to you guys Hi, later. pile two. Pile two. Before I even got in your pile, OMG, the vibe was vibing, pile two. Um, I'm excited to see, <laughs> to see what this is about. But very strong energy coming from this pile. I was channeling the song... Um, guess who loves you more by Raheem Devon. Um, so what is going on? What is going on? My pile twos. Um, I also was looking at the clock and it was 1144. So that may be a relevant angel number for somebody in here, but yeah, before we get into the numbers and the signs that are relevant for your pile, let's get into this positive year of thinking quote book to see what messages we have affirmations we have for this week ahead for my pile twos pile two what's relevant for pile two spirit we have july 5th july 6th july 7th and july 8th all right these may be relevant dates for you some of you this could be your birthday somebody else's birthday others of you this could be you know just a season that was relevant for you this is cancer season that's coming up some of you have some of you guys have cancer placements or you're dealing with a cancer excuse me um but it says july 5th speak it into existence words are in my not so humble opinion our most inexhaustible source of magic that is a quote from jk rowling some of you guys like jk rowling harry potter things like that you could be an author or you're into writing um or that's just relevant to you somehow it says speak your dreams out loud as if they were already true believe in them and remind yourself of them daily when you do the world around you will begin to co-create the vision of reality that you had the courage to speak aloud so pow too. It's about what you're affirming. It's about what you're saying. It's about how you're speaking. This is relevant for, for you this week. Oh my God, I'm struggling. This is relevant for you this week, pile two, okay? So keep this in mind. You also have July 6th. It says, resentment won't serve you, okay? It says, resentment has no good purpose. Unfortunately, the only one who feels the destructive effects of its power is the one who is resentful. As best you can, let it go, all right? So some of y'all... Pile two, if you've been carrying resentment, if you've been resenting someone, if you've been upset about something, if you've been mad at a parent, mad at an ex, mad at yourself, um, resenting your friend, whatever it is, a love interest, this doesn't, even, <laughs> this doesn't even have to be a new, I mean, an old person, this could be a new person. If you've been resenting someone that you're around, it's only holding you back. Okay, they want you to keep this in mind. You also have, you are too big for boxes. July 7th, it says, do not shrink to fit into boxes that are too small to contain all your magnificence. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure what box you put yourself in. Some of you could be feeling upset because you feel stuck in a box, but I'm getting that it's self-imposed. All right, um, some of you could feel 
like you're not able to move forward the way that you want to, um, whether it's in regards to love or work or anything like that. But your guides are saying that this isn't a box that you can't break out of. So find a way. All right. Find a way forward. You also have July 8th. It says optimism is not self-deception. Optimism is not about providing a recipe for self-deception. The world can be a horrible, cruel place. And at the same time, it can be wonderful and abundant. These are both truths. There is not a halfway point. There is only choosing which truth to put in your personal foreground. It's so funny, too, because uh, that's actually a quote from Sonia Liambrowski. Liambrowski. I can't say her name. I'm sorry. Um, and it says she was quoting Lee Ross in the book, The How of Happiness. All right. The How of Happiness. A lot of books. Some of you guys could be reading books this week or again, some of you want to be authors or you like writing or you're dealing with an author or something like that, a writer. Um, but no, what was I going to say? Um, this is similar energy and not really super similar, but this energy is reminding me of what I said in another pile where I was talking about how we're transitioning from Scorpio season into Sagittarius season this week. And of course, you can watch this whenever you want to watch this. But currently at the time that I'm filming this, we are at the end stages of uh, Scorpio season. And to me, this is really a, a transition from being in a space of shadow work, or taking some time to reflect on the things that you need to heal, you know, facing your fears, whatever it is, transforming how you you need to so that you can come out on the other end in sad season and be optimistic about the future you know open to new opportunities super um you know was super interested in the bigger plan the bigger picture I feel like this is something that somebody in here needs to know or needs to start focusing on or needs to start like pumping themselves up about um things are going to get better so if you are in a state of feeling sad or something like that I feel like things are going to get better but who was sending that song <laughs> who was sending that song about about guess who loves you more I don't know whether somebody around you is saying like yeah because you know guess who, guess who loves you more by Raheem Devon is a song where he's basically saying like he's talking to a woman who is separating herself from a man so she could have left a man behind recently got broken up recently got divorced <laughs> recently moved forward and there's somebody on the other end that's saying I love you more guess who loves you more guess who's going to treat you better me OK, so I don't know whether this is a woman saying this to you, a man saying this to you, a person, whoever it is. I don't know if this is you saying this to someone else, pal, too. But it feels like there's something going on here where somebody feels like they can treat you better or love you better than somebody else. So I don't know, but it looks like this is relevant. Um, numbers that could be relevant to this pile. We got 21, 39, 43, 42, 30. This could be ages, dates, um, things like that. Somebody could also be a Pisces or an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, a Cancer or a Leo, a Cancer or a Gemini, um, a Pisces or an Aries. Again, I'm also seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, again, Scorpio, again, heavy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and those are the, I said Aries, Leo, Sag, right? Yes, those are the most, most, those are the most prominent signs, damn, those are the most prominent signs, wow, too, okay, so let's get into it. This is the week where you need to put yourself out there, pal, too. I feel like if you are someone that has recently gone through an ending or is going through a breakup or has decided that you're opening yourself up to the world, whatever it is, your guides are saying this is the time to go out, to um, explore, um, to make yourself available to these new opportunities because it's looking like people want to connect with you or it's looking like you want to connect with people. Um, and if this is the case or somebody wants to connect with you, pal, um, to some of you, I'm not going to lie, you could be in a space where this week you're really putting more emphasis on friends and family and the people that you love that way. Um, because I do feel like there's some sort of baggage here in regards to a past situation. This could even be in regards to your family. Some of you could have baggage around a father figure um, or a masculine mother or something like that. And this is what's kind of keeping you from embracing these new opportunities that are around you. But regardless of whatever it is that you are grieving, um, I feel like there's somebody in your environment that really wants to connect with you. But I feel like they don't view you as being open to them. OK, um, and again, I don't know if this is someone that wants to apologize to you 
or I don't feel like the person that you're grieving is the one that wants to connect. I feel like it's somebody else. Okay, Paul too. I feel like there's somebody in your energy that wants to connect with you that may feel rejected by you this week. And I think it's because you're really focused on yourself, really focused on your work. Some of you that are watching this are divine feminine. Others of you that are watching this, there's a divine feminine that wants to connect with you. Um, and you could be more focused on work or more focused on family, more focused on friends. But this person is interested in you. I also believe that in the Raheem Devon video, they're like at an art gallery. So I don't know whether some of you guys, this person is into art or um, if some of you are an artist yourself, maybe you're focused on your art projects. Maybe you're focused on building a brand or maybe somebody else is in this energy. But I'm getting a vibe here where like somebody wants to connect with you and they're feeling rejected. <laughs> they're feeling rejected by you. Um, so your guides are saying that what is stopping you from connecting with this person? I mean, it looks like that last moon was very emotional for somebody in here. Um, could have been very emotional for you, could have been very emotional for someone else. Um, and it it's highlighting the fact that there was some level of rigidity or fear that was keeping you, I'm assuming this is about you, keeping you from seeing the potential for something new or different in your life. Um, and your guides are saying that now that the moon is over, now that the, that the dust has settled, excuse me, um, this may be a great week to take yourself out on a date or put yourself out there, go outside, dress up to see people, um, because they want you to connect. There's some sort of unexpected opportunity that you don't see coming for some of you. If you go out this week, somebody, you're going to meet somebody. There's going to be somebody that you come into contact with that is attracted to you or that you're attracted to. Um, maybe you're going to an art gallery. There's something here about you connecting with someone um, while you're outside and this person is going to like you. Um, for others of you, there's an energy here of you already having met someone. <laughs> already having met someone, somebody being in your energy and them wanting to um offer you love or connect with you somehow maybe unexpectedly maybe you don't expect this person to reach out or you don't expect this person to want to talk to you or um but I'm getting the vibe here where somebody does want to talk to you but it's almost like you have to overcome some level of grief um you have to overcome some level of grief here in regards to something from the past okay um and I'm not completely sure what that past thing is. For some of you, it is a relationship where there was a family dynamic. Uh, this could be you literally grieving your family. But I'm getting like it's a relationship that there was a family dynamic in. So even if this is a job, some of you are left a job behind or you're sad that you had to leave a job and you're sad about this. This could be a friend group um, that you're leaving behind or something, something from the past. I feel like you are leaving behind in order for you to invest in something else that feels more long-term and more fulfilling. And I'm not sure what the thing is that you're leaving. Because for some of you, I see you going back to something that you've already considered. If this is about a job situation, like I said, somebody in here, you could be like considering... Um, reinvesting in an old talent of yours or pursuing an old hobby of yours or getting into something that you love to do you could be considering doing this um and I do feel like this is in alignment with your long-term success but then there's also something here where it's like in the process of you considering doing something new or revisiting something right um possibly even like revisiting a version of yourself that you normally are um in <laughs> I'm having a hard time explaining this but like let's say that you've been closed off from people now you want to go outside you know or maybe I'm getting that vibe I feel like some of you have been really closed off or focused on yourself and now you guys want to put yourself out there or go outside or again maybe you want to get back into dating or you want to get into sharing certain skills or making new friends or whatever it is but there's some sort of baggage or obligation or weight from the past that is weighing you down and I feel like whatever this energy is that's weighing you down um is causing you to project certain things onto other people or be fearful of connecting with people when you don't have to be 
when you really don't have to be. Um, if there is somebody that wants to connect with you, that makes an effort to connect with you this week, I do feel like this person is genuinely interested in you. Um, even if this is somebody that you meet outside, I feel like this person is genuinely interested in you, wants to make a move on you. Yes, yeah, somebody is attracted to you, pile two. That's what I'm saying. Guess who loves you more? Like somebody's like, I will love you better. Somebody gonna love you better. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of cards. But there's like anxiety here because somebody needs to do some sort of past life healing. Um, and when I say past life, I mean early years of your life. This could be literally tied to your past life. But somebody in here, you need to forgive somebody from your past, an ex, a family member, um, an old friend. I don't know. There's somebody from your past that you still have baggage around. For some of you, this is your literal father. Okay, your father could have did something shady in the past and now you don't trust love or people or yourself even. Why is this here? What's that Ten of Wands about? Damn, Ten of Swords, yeah. For some of you, there was definitely some sort of painful ending in the past, either with a, an actual love interest or with some sort of person. Some of you had to walk away from someone. It's either one or two things. If it's a masculine that I'm talking in, talking to, not talking into, <laughs> if there's a masculine that I'm talking to in this pile, um, some of you could have had someone walk away from you in the past and that really scarred you. There was some sort of abandonment wound left there. Um, maybe it was somebody that you thought you were going to be long term with and that person left. Doesn't matter if it's a feminine or a masculine, but I'm getting like if you're a masculine in, in specific, somebody could have walked away from you. If you are a feminine in specific, some of you uh, walked away from someone. You had to walk away from someone and that could have really scarred you because maybe you expected this person to... Um, do more for you or love you better or something like that and you decided to leave them behind and now you have some sort of new opportunity a new person in your energy that wants to connect with you and I'm getting the vibe here that some of you haven't fully forgiven someone from your past or fully accepted some sort of ending from your past or just recognize that there's room for growth and that you should be yourself somebody I'm getting like a denial vibe like somebody's in denial of the fact that they even want love or deserve love or something like that um, but I do feel like it's on the table for you so if that is something that you want somebody's going to offer you something or if you're feeling pulled to offer somebody something you should receive that or you should give that because uh, I do feel like somebody feels like they can love somebody better I am getting to, I'm hearing Love You Better by LL Cool J every time I say that, but that song has to do with somebody where it's like, this could be somebody that you already know that I'm talking about that wants to connect with you. I don't feel like this is the far, far back ex or like your parent, right? I'm getting some of you are grieving something related to a parent or like to a far back ex, like an ex from the past. Um, but Love You Better by LL Cool J has to do with a guy saying like, I'm going to love you better than I did before basically like if I if I hurt your feelings I don't want to hurt your feelings anymore like I want to be um I want to make up for this if somebody's trying to make up for something with you um you could be seeing crows this week birds are significant pal um too but if somebody wants to make up something with you um they might be genuine about that they might genuinely mean that I don't feel like this person is trying to hurt your feelings or do you dirty? You need to speak to this person, though. You need to tell them how you feel. I keep hearing the part where he's like, do you think I meant to hurt you? And the guy's like, no. <laughs> I'm hearing that part over and over again. So I feel like somebody's like, no, like I didn't mean to hurt you. Like I wouldn't try to hurt you. And maybe you don't believe this because you've been hurt in the past. Pile to but I'm getting somebody didn't mean to hurt you they're not doing things to hurt you and if you don't fully heal from the past everything that this person does that hurts you you'll take it as a personal dig and it may not be that okay somebody pulls away for a second they're focused on themselves they're focused on their work you're like oh they're cheating they're throwing themselves at other people they're doing something dirty they're abandoning me da, 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 da. and it's like that might not be the case that might be your fears talking. That might be you projecting onto this person. That may be your negativity. Some of you are a bit rigid. Somebody's name could be Bridget. Bridgerton may be significant. Um, the UK. But you have 18, 53, 25, and 36 as being relevant. Um, 
I just realized something. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Um, 18, 53, 25, 36 may be relevant. Um, yeah, I'm getting the vibe where like somebody could be doing something and not realize that like somebody did, somebody didn't realize what they did. If this is somebody that you know, somebody didn't realize that what they did hurt you. Um, or somebody sometimes can't tell. I'm not I'm not getting like somebody didn't realize that something hurt you and they really did something petty to hurt you. You know, like some of y'all know an, an intentional hurt. Okay. If somebody cheated on you, did you dirty, something like that. I'm not getting that vibe. That's not what I'm talking about when I say somebody didn't know what they were doing. But like sometimes what you could consider ghosting, especially if it's not that long of a period of time, sometimes people go, you ghosted me. And it's like, you, like you could have been the one that ghosted them or something. I don't know. I'm getting like something weird like that. Like <sighs> there's a need for forgiveness. Somebody wants to connect with you. Even if this isn't the person that I'm talking about. Some of y'all, somebody wants to connect with you. But anyway, you got 18, 53, 25, 36. So somebody could be born on those days, could be those ages. I'm also getting Virgo and Libra. A, I was going to say Aries. Could be an Aries in here. Um, what is that? Leo and Virgo. Cancer and Gemini. And Virgo and Libra again could be relevant numbers this could be the person this could be just relevant numbers placements whatever it is some of you for self-care this week you need to dance so somebody might ask you to go out dancing somebody may want to some of you just need to move your body in general um exercise that way or just like release all the stress in your body um a lot of people i mean anybody can dance but a lot of people practice dancing when they want to um activate some level of femininity in them as well a lot of feminines get into dancing dance courses dance classes so that they can connect more with their divine feminine energy so um take that into consideration feminines who are watching this i feel like you could definitely benefit from like you know looking at belly dancing videos or taking a class for dancing um could even be low-key somebody could take a pole dancing class anything i'm getting like some of you would benefit from doing something that makes you feel sensual and happy and um you know beautiful however you feel beautiful um that's not for everybody <laughs> i know that's probably men that are watching men that are watching you can take a dance class too <laughs> you can take a dance class too like do whatever you want to do um somebody could also benefit from pottery or using their hands somehow so if you are a painter like i said painting cooking um throwing pots um painting <laughs> sketching a uh, sewing anything like that um making music doing tarot i don't know um anybody in here you would benefit from getting into something in regards to your hands that's going to be beneficial to you as well you also have ground yourself somebody definitely needs to take some time to ground themselves because i am getting the vibe that you're an overthinker in this pile pile two and i feel like whatever you've been through in the past has left you feeling scarred um and confused about what you want to do moving forward some of you are also going to benefit from going outside and grounding yourself others of you i'm also getting a vibe here that you need to do yoga possibly some of you look the love oracles that came out for you you have 39 be authentic be real and true to who you are and how you feel some of y'all need to oh on this card you can't see it there's a man playing this flute and this girl who's like leaning by the tree so some of you could be musicians or something here about music some of you are listening to music with somebody you could be a capricorn or a sag or you're dealing with one there's something about being authentic to yourself or being authentic about your feelings. We also have 16. This uh, love oracle came out in another pile. It says, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Acknowledge this as truth. Somebody could be born on the 16th in this pile. Somebody could also be a Cancer or a Leo. Look, bottom of the deck, it says, I love you. 20. Somebody could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. These are powerful words. Somebody loves you. That's what I'm saying. Guess who loves you more? Somebody's like, I love you more. Dang, who that? <laughs> oh, wait, let me get the last oracle. Who that? Somebody's saying they love you more. They love you more than your ex person. Forget your ex. Dang. So, yeah, some of y'all, you could be so hung up on what you've been through in the past. Somebody's like, forget that. 
<laughs> you keep thinking about that. Forget that. Yeah, it says my vibes speak louder than my words. Yeah, your vibes speak louder than your words. So again, how are you showing up vibrationally, pal two? Are you coming off like you're open to love or are you coming off closed off? Are you coming off like you are ready to date or are you coming off like you don't want to be bothered? Are you coming off like you're just as interested as you're saying you are or are you showing up like you don't want to talk to this person? Some of y'all may have feelings for somebody or some of you do want to talk to somebody, but it's like your energy is coming off just as hurt as it was however long it was that you've been hurt ago. Butterflies are significant. So whatever you've been through could have really put you in a spot where it's like, it's hard for you to show up how you really want to. But your guides are saying, try to do things that will help you release that trauma so you can. Um, you also have, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Yes, being happy helps you manifest more happiness. Focus on happy things. Some of y'all need to focus on happy things. I don't know what you've gone through this week or in the past or whenever, but um, there is a need for you to try to shift your focus so you can enjoy the present moment or enjoy what's coming in for you, okay? That's all that I got from my pal twos. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um, channel songs are down below as well. I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Hi, pal three. You are the pal that chose image three, okay? So this message is definitely complex <laughs> i'm gonna try to read this as best as i can um it's not given that it's too complex but we're gonna see what it's about for some of you this is definitely career related for others of you this is about love all right so um and it could go either way i know i bring that up for a lot of the piles but i am getting this vibe off of your pile uh distinctively there's there's some sort of separation between the two or significance between the two um, but let's get into a year of positive thinking and then we'll get into the actual tarot and everything uh, on the board. But we're going to get some sort of mantra or affirmation and takeaway before we actually get into your pile. Messages from my pile three, pile three for the week ahead, pile three for the week ahead. I'm seeing October. So October may be relevant for you, pile three, whether you're born in October, somebody else's could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. Messages from my pile. Okay. Yes, could be done with a Libra. We got October 1st, October 2nd, October 3rd, and October 4th. Pile three. All right. So it says, or you could be a Scorpio or Libra. It says, life will get back to normal. When difficult times arise, remind yourself that life will go back to normal, even if it's a new normal. Whatever you are experiencing will eventually pass. This truth doesn't diminish what is happening, but it allows you to find the light at the end of the tunnel by recognizing that time will be keeping, will keep moving forward. Sorry. And in time, you will be okay once again. All right. So some of you guys could be in a transitionary period of your life or something in your life just feels a little bit off this week. Um, but they're saying that things will get back to normal. Maybe it's Mercury retrograde. Maybe it's because Pluto has switched into Aquarius. Maybe it's because, um, you know, something just feels off. <laughs> I don't know what it would be. Something just feels off this week, but I'm getting that things will improve. Um, but sometimes you do need some level of change before you see improvements. We also have October 2nd. It says own your weird. Weirdness. Committing to authentically being who you are will not always be easy. It takes courage and heart to be who you were born to be. But you'll have a lot more fun and you'll find your true place of belonging if you do. All right. So some of you, it's time to be weird. <laughs> don't fake it. Don't fake it. If you're not weird, don't fake it. But I'm getting like, if you are naturally very weird or very different or very interesting, do not suppress that. Some of you could be suppressing that or you're in a job where you have to suppress it. You're in a family dynamic where you have to suppress it. You're in a relationship where you can't be yourself. I'm getting it's time to be yourself. It's time to embrace who you are. Um, it's time to be proud of who you're becoming and things like that. So definitely don't get too hung up on how other people are viewing you at this time, um, because being you is the best thing that you could possibly do. You also have October 3rd. It says perceive beauty in the world. Expect. Expect. Yes. Expect the world to be a beautiful place and it will be find beauty in small details and the big ones, too. All right. So 
little wins little wins are a big deal for you this week pal three um little beautiful things <laughs> whatever that is for you maybe this is about jewelry maybe this is about meals you know that little beautiful meal you had for lunch or um that little beautiful dog or cat that you saw or something like that you know babies little beautiful babies like i'm getting certain things are really beautiful in the world and your guides are saying make sure you pay attention to them this week um even yourself if your skin looks great one of these days or all of the days go oh my god your skin looks so great um or you know your body's looking good your hair looks great your skin looks great your teeth are white like I don't know some of you just need to embrace yourself embrace the beauty around you um and then last but not least you have October 4th it says the sun always peeks through the rain will come and so will the rainbows. Trust that no matter the storm, you can weather it. And know that no matter how bad a situation may seem, the sun will always find its way through. It's funny that they're bringing up hurricanes because you have a card. Or they didn't bring up hurricanes. Damn. <sighs> some of you could be hurricane survivors, all right? Some of you could be experiencing some sort of rain this week. Um... I didn't mean to say hurricanes. I just meant to say rainstorms. So hopefully there isn't any hurricanes that are going on around you. But um, this may be significant. Let's read these numbers off and then we'll get more into the message. Um, 24, 6, 44 may be relevant. Somebody could be born in 66, 2, and 34. These could be ages, dates, things like that. Somebody could definitely be a Cancer or a Gemini. Somebody could be a... Um, Leo or a uh, Virgo, somebody could be an Aries. I'm seeing Aries out here, Aquarius, um, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heaviest out here. Um, some of you this week, there's something here about you wanting to fight for a relationship. OK, or fight for some sort of opportunity. There's like this desire to start something or to maintain something. And you're really feeling this on an intuitive level. Um, I don't know whether you're feeling pulled to, again, fight for a job opportunity, fight for a position that you want, fight for a business that you have um, or to actually like go after it. If you're not fighting for it to maintain it, there's like this desire to start something, um, even if there's other people against you is what I'm getting. Because for some of you, there could be some sort of opposition or people around you that are against what you're building for yourself, especially if this is like you leaving a job behind or um, possibly leaving a friendship um, or a family dynamic behind to pursue a love opportunity. I am getting that there's some sort of conflict here because of this. Um, it's almost like there's this energy here of you wanting to end something and waiting for this new offer to come in. Or waiting for this new thing to come in. Um, like this could even be within a business. An online business or something like that. Some of you guys are maintaining something that you're building online. Or something that you want to start. Or um, some of you are ready to start something. And I feel like it will be very successful. Or there's definitely signs that something is working out for you. Or will end up working out for you. A relationship, a job, whatever it is. Um, but... Similar to one of the other piles, I'm getting this vibe where like somebody in here is waiting for change and this could be you waiting for change from someone else, like waiting for someone to take the lead on you or start something up with you. Um, but I feel like there's a need for you to say something. OK, because some of you are currently trapped in a situation, whether it's just trapped in your head or trapped in a situation um, where you are either already committed to it. Or you're just feeling trapped in another situation, but you want to commit to something else. Or you are committed to something else, but you feel trapped in another situation. Again, this could be a job. You could be currently trapped at a job, but you're really committed to this other project that you're building. Or some of you, there's something here about a relationship. You could feel trapped within a family dynamic, a previous relationship, a previous friend group, something like that. Um, a family dynamic whatever it is uh but some of you are wanting to go towards something new or somewhere else or to explore something else but i feel like there's this energy here where it's like either you need to figure out how to approach or start this thing that you're trying to build for yourself or some of you keep waiting for someone else to make a move to say something to to do something 
towards you. Um, maybe even to say that they miss you or want to reach out to you or whatever it is. But I'm getting a vibe where it's like, you need to say it. Pile three. Some of y'all need to say it. Yeah. If you want to work with someone, you need to speak on that. If you want to start a project, you need to talk about that. If you want to uh, be connected with this friend, you need to talk to this person. Why is trapped here? Somebody feels trapped. There's something about these ravens or these crows. I brought up ravens or crows in another pile as well. Some of you guys could have clicked on that other pile. Some of you could be seeing them this week. It's just you being trapped in your head. Some of you are currently indecisive about a situation, about whether you should manifest this thing or there's an, okay. There's either somebody that's confusing you about a situation outside of what you're trying to manifest. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag that's confusing you. Okay. Okay. Somebody could be trying to make you walk away from something that you want to invest in. But for others of you, you're confusing yourself. You could be those signs and you're confusing yourself because there's this energy here of wanting to manifest something, but going back and forth about whether you should or not. It feels like it's because you're already either committed to something else or you're in a space where you just don't trust that what you want is possible. It's almost like you're hoping that someone else uh, validates this this desire that you have instead of you trusting your intuition why not just trust yourself I feel like that's what you're being told to do some of you are being told to stay optimistic and just do this thing even with that whole weirdness message like I don't know whether you're afraid that somebody's going to view you as weird or if you start this project or whatever it is you're like is this going to be weird to people like I'm getting this vibe where you're judging yourself before you even try um but your guides are saying that they want you to continue striving for the things that you love, going after the people that you love, pursuing the things that really make you feel alive, um, because that's how you're going to align with the people that you're supposed to be around. Some of you have already seen success in a certain venture or area of life where this thing is relevant. So like, let's say this is a side hustle or project you have outside of a an existing job. Some of you are like waiting to see a certain change in this thing or waiting to get the go ahead about something before you actually start it or keep pursuing it. But I'm getting that your guides are saying the decision is up to you. Now, for others of you, if this is a love situation, again, I'm getting like some of you could be trying to figure out whether somebody wants to talk to you and you're like, well, I want to talk to them, but I don't know if they want to talk to me. Like I'm willing to resist this old investment so I can go towards this new thing, or I'm willing to try something new. Like I'm getting something here. Like some of you are ready to move towards something new, something that makes you feel more alive or excited. Um, but you you have to be the one that initiates the change okay so that's for somebody in here for somebody in specific there is a gemini libra aquarius pisces cancer or leo that is trapped in a relationship or um this person is trying to keep you trapped in a relationship with them or somebody's just trying to keep you trapped or something i'm picking up on this energy why am i being told to say this to them some of y'all feel trapped with this person yeah some of y'all haven't had the strength to leave somebody behind or to move forward this could even be in a job situation this doesn't have to be a love situation. For some of you, somebody could be trying to get you caught up as well. Why? This could be because of someone. Someone else. Ugh, this is messy. I don't know if this is something like somebody else said something. Or if it's like they're mad because of someone else. Somebody trying to get you caught up. I'm hearing that Trey Song's song that they've been using on clips. That's like, chilling in Miami, a little freak. <laughs> don't judge me. I don't know this song. <laughs> Somebody's chilling in Miami, something with a little freak. I don't know what that's about. 
Somebody's vibe is like that. I don't know. What's the self-care for my pop? <laughs> Some of y'all, what is going on this week? What is your self-care? <laughs> what the heck is this self-care, y'all? Self-care for the week ahead. You got 49, 44, 31, or 34. These may be relevant numbers for somebody in this reading. Somebody could be born in 94. Somebody could be these ages. Um, somebody could also be a Scorpio. Could be an Aries or a Taurus. Could be a Leo or a Virgo. Could be a Cancer or a Leo. Relevant signs. Those may be relevant signs. Um, somebody in here. There is, I don't know whether you have a friends with benefits situation going on or you have a relationship outside of a friendship or something. Something weird is going on in this energy because you got for self-care, you got spend time with friends. Then you got smacks. <laughs> then you got look to the stars and massage. <laughs> massage. All right. So this may be relevant self-care for you this week. Um, some of you need to go get a massage. Some of y'all need to look at your birth chart, look at the stars, look at the transits and things like that. You could even be an astrologer, get into astrology. Um, somebody in here, you could also benefit from having um, intercourse. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all are going to benefit from having intercourse. <laughs> and you need to spend time with your friends. Okay. I don't think you, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Because somebody got something going on. Some of you, okay. We have 25 for your love oracle. It says romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Some of y'all need to show somebody some love. All right, this week, yeah, like against everybody else's uh, opinions or anything like that. Some of you guys need to show somebody some love. Somebody could be um, a siren or they have siren energy. Or it's like a mermaid. Somebody likes mermaids in this pile. Somebody could be connected to Yemaya. Um, I'm also getting a Yemaya. Some people say our name differently, but I'm getting that. Um, you also have You Are Limitless. You can do anything you choose. The number four, so Taurus and Aries may be relevant. Cancer and Leo. Somebody could have these placements. You can do anything you choose. Y'all could do whatever you want. So, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what, like, I don't know whether you're waiting on other people to give you the go-ahead or if you are afraid of other people's judgment or if you are worried about Again, like your family saying something, your friends saying something. I'm getting like, you need to do what you want to do. Some of y'all want to talk to somebody and maybe other people are not for it. Others of you are um, wanting to start a project or do something in your career and other people don't want you to do it. Because even with that whole trapped energy, like I said, some of you aren't trapped in a relationship. Um, could be a friendship, anything like that. But for others of you, there's something here about somebody in a job situation or could even be in a friend group that wants to keep you stuck. They may not want you to expand. They may not want you to expand or to start a new project or to start a new relationship or whatever it is. You're being told to do it anyway. Okay. Your oracles to close out your pile, pile three. You have happiness is my birthright. You deserve to be happy, pile three. Do what you want to do. You have instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Yeah, like don't worry about a specific outcome. Just do what you want to do. Make sure you're doing it from a high vibrational place. And however other people respond around you or react is their response or their reaction. It has nothing to do with you. Um, you also have the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Yeah. Stop worrying about what you think you need or what other people say you need and start doing what you want. Be around the people that you want. Start dressing how you want, speaking how you want, listening to music that you want, whatever that is. All right. And you also have at the bottom of the deck, it says my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Yeah. So if you're not happy, it may be a sign that you don't believe that there's better things coming in or better days ahead, but better days are coming towards you. Okay, 
pile three. That's all that I got, boo. I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this message. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you did, turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um, Yeah. That's all that I got. Channel songs. Yes. Did I say that? <laughs> Channel songs down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, Bye. Pile 4. This is your pile. You are the pile that chose image 4. Okay. So... Um, this reading has been so interesting because I keep channeling songs before the piles. Like, they're coming back to back to back, and I'm loving this. Um, but before I actually get into what I channel <laughs> and the numbers and the tarot stuff on the board, we're going to look at a positive year of thinking, this book that I get these mantras and affirmations from, to see what your positive year of thinking message is for this week or today or whatever it is. Let's see, messages for my collective and pile four. Messages for pile four. What's pile four's message? Pile four. Somebody could be a September 13th, 14th, 15th, or 16th Virgo. Okay. Um, these dates could have been relevant, or this is just relevant in general. It says September 13th. The answers will come. You are not stuck. You are temporarily at a loss for answers. To be stuck is to feel hopeless, rudderless. <laughs> I don't know if it's rudderless or rudderless. But you, my love, have hope. And you know that the answers will present themselves when the time is right. Be patient and trust that the answers will come. They always do. All right. So this week, some of y'all can be stressed out or confused or not completely sure about what to do next or where you're headed. Um, but your guides are saying that the answers will come this week. So try not to stress out. Um, you also have September 14th. It says start fresh. Your past has passed. When you are called to release whatever you have held on to for far too long, let go. Surrender as best you can and start anew. How exciting. You can begin again in whichever way you choose. Revel in this idea. Then prepare yourself for the energy of bright, brand new beginnings. All right. So new beginnings ahead. New things are coming in. New opportunities are approaching. So stay open to this pile for good things are coming in for you. Stay optimistic. You have September 15th. It says anger is too heavy a burden. Anger is a heavy burden that will wear you down and keep you from seeing better days ahead. Holding on to anger is too difficult and carrying it will not make you happier. Create change where you can and correct whichever wrongs you are able to. But then release the anger and instead choose contentment, peace of mind, and hope for the future. All right, this is relevant for somebody in this pile. Um, somebody in here angry. <laughs> it's not funny. Somebody in here, you could be angry about something. I don't know if you're angry at someone. I don't know if you're angry about something that's going on currently in your financial situation, in your family dynamic. Um, but if you are angry at someone or if you are still upset about something, your guides are saying that there's a need for you to release that. And then you also have September 16th. It says, <laughs> oh, my God, my throat got caught up. Somebody in here, I guess y'all didn't want to hear that, but um, <laughs> somebody don't want to feel, <laughs> somebody doesn't want to release the anger, but I'm getting that you should. Um, it says, get comfortable with the word no. Saying no leaves room for the right yes to come along. For some of you, it may not even be that you're angry. Somebody else could be angry with you. But for others of you, it is you being angry. Hmm. This is complex. Somebody in this pile, you could be a Scorpio or a Aries or a Taurus. You could be a Leo or Virgo, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sag, um, Pisces and Aries again, Aquarius, Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, mm, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Virgo. Could be Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, but I'm seeing Libra as the heaviest air sign. Okay. <clears throat> 
something about Leo is significant in this pile. So some of you guys, you could have a strong Leo placement. You could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys could also need to look into your fifth house and your birth charts about your creativity, about your romantic life. This could be about romance. Before I got into the pile, the song that I was hearing was uh, Faded to Sade by uh, Lyrica Anderson and Chris Brown. So... Somebody could be like wanting to smoke with you or link up with you. This could be about someone that you smoked with before, but I'm getting somebody wants to smoke with you and listen to music and be romantic with you. Now, for some of you, this could be, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend, but even off of the image that I chose, it is giving romance vibes. So for some of you, this is about a romantic relationship. However, I'm getting a vibe in your pile, pile four, that you are currently in a space of feeling a bit conflicted about a situation if this is a love situation some of y'all are not completely sure about whether you want to forgive someone or work on a connection all right this could be somebody that isn't currently taking action towards you or they didn't do this in the past and this is why you're irritated with this person um for others of you there's something here where it's like this could be a friend situation as well um there's just something that someone didn't do or some some way that someone came off in the past that was very triggering for you um, or could have possibly put you in a space of being kind of like confused or um, upset. I'm really getting that this person could have triggered some form of insecurity um, and the insecurity could have spiraled into other things you know, facets of your life. Like the insecurity this person struck in you could have hit you on more than one uh, level, but I'm getting that that was meant to trigger you into healing. Okay. Um, however, this week, like I said, I'm getting the vibe where some of you are going to have to use your intuition about someone that wants to work on something with you or somebody that's trying to come your way. Whoever this person is, this person feels like you do not want any parts. They've been waiting for you to say something. They've been waiting for you to come back around. They've been wanting to work on something with you, but they view you as emotionally unavailable, not desiring this connection, um, not seeing anything long-term with them. This person feels like you're over them. I don't know if this is a friend. I don't know if this is a family member. I don't know if this is like a new love interest. It feels like it's someone you have some level of history with. Doesn't have to be super, super long history with this person. But I'm getting that this is someone like this person could see long term with you. But I'm getting that they they view you as not being interested in that with them. Okay. Even if it's a family member or a friend or something like that. This is somebody that feels like you don't want to include them in your life you don't want to make plans with them you don't see them as a part of your future and this is like really harsh energy right now I honestly don't know what this person did though so I don't want to say that you're being harsh like oh you're the problem you're pushing this person away or anything like that because depending on what this person did even with that card coming out you have a card that came out that says complicated it seems complicated to me I feel like whatever happened between the two of you was very unexpected um, but I also feel like it was meant to trigger you into healing. So it's almost like now that everything is being seen from a higher perspective, there was a purpose behind what happened, right? But I don't know whether you can move past this purpose, um, or I don't know whether you're able to see beyond what happened because some of you have completely lost hope in a situation with this person, or there's this vibe here where it's like, you don't see much growth. You don't know if the investment that you had is actually coming in. You may feel like this person has, um, you know, fed you false promises, or you may view this person as just not wanting anything super serious with you or, um, not wanting something that can build together. All right. Like not wanting to work with you, not wanting to build with you. Um, but something that your spirit team are highlighting or they, you know, they want you to know or recognize in the situation is that you have control over how this situation plays out because you are the one that's kind of um, creating the atmosphere of it all. And when they talked about anger in that book, I don't see this person being angry at you, but I see a lot of y'all being angry at them. Okay, whoever this person is. This person really gave you anxiety when they ran away from you or weren't consistent with you or um, it stresses you out thinking about working on this connection with this person because there's some sort of truth that you've accepted or like something that you told yourself to be true. And it may not even be true. 
some of y'all have have said something about this person or accepted something about this person that may not actually be true. Um, you know, maybe this person operates differently from you when it comes to how they choose to approach life or pursue things, whatever it is. And you could have assumed that this person was doing something to hurt your feelings or slight you or do you dirty. But I'm getting a vibe here where it's like this person could have been focused on work. This person could have been focused on relaxing. This person could have been focused on themselves. Um, and I feel like you're viewing them as... You're viewing them as, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Some of you are viewing this person as betraying you. You feel like this person betrayed you. Hmm. What's the misconception around this person? You could be a Cancer or a Pisces too. You don't have to be. Some of you guys are going to see owls this week or owls are significant. What's the misconception? What's the misconception about this person? I feel like one misconception that you have about this person is that they're indecisive about you. Some of y'all feel like this person don't know what they want or that they don't know if they want you or something. They want you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn. That could be you or them. Somebody wants you. But you are coming off like you're not sure if you want them. So your advice in this situation, pile four, is to take a second to go within and figure out what you actually want. Because I feel like part of you wanted this person to come back around or you did see potential for something long term with them at some point in time or you had hope in this connection or... You wanted to see some sort of progress and this person could be in your space or there could be an opportunity to connect with this person. Um, but some of you have already came to the conclusion that you're focused on yourself or pursuing new opportunities because you want to explore your options. Like maybe you're realizing that you don't want to stay with this person or there's something going on here where it's like why is this here yeah like some of y'all might be like i'd rather focus on myself or i'd rather be single right now like you came to the conclusion that you'd rather be single right now and take your time because something was too burdensome for you in the past or this is something that needs to be discussed this person's just viewing you super cold. Like, the way they view you currently is like, like you're really closed off. And for some of you, you may have viewed this person this way. Like, you may have felt like this person didn't want anything with you, didn't want to focus on you, wasn't interested in you. What's their advice? More advice. More advice. You really have to decide, pile four. I don't know if there is some sort of new love opportunity waiting for you elsewhere. Or whether this is somebody that, like, again, you have to decide on whether you are willing to work on this with them. But there's a decision that has to be made. And in order for you to make this decision, you really have to accept the past and, like, keep it pushing. Like, you're you're not supposed to dwell so much on that. You have to forgive this person. Yes. You have to forgive this person to see possibilities beyond whatever you already experienced. Because whatever you experience with this person puts you in a space of feeling very insecure about yourself. And some of you, this is like the result of like other experiences you've had outside of this person. Like some of you could have really experienced some form of trauma or heartbreak in another area or if it is with this person it could have been something in the past that you had with this person that was messy and I feel like because some of you I don't know what's going on like this person may assume that you're already in another relationship or like that you don't want to be with them or that you've moved on there's like this I'm getting that somebody has a perception of someone that is outdated 
there's something about the situation that's outdated and it's triggering someone into a space of like fearing something that isn't actually going on or fearing the worst even though there's potential for good things to happen and this could be you you could be the one fearing things so your guides are like, you can be the light in this situation. You can make this a positive thing. Whether this is a friend, lover, whoever this is, you can make this positive, but it's going to take you biting the bullet and forgiving them. Some of you need to do some form of artwork that uh, requires your hands this week. So painting, cooking, makeup, anything like that. Sketching, sewing, pottery. You need to get into that for self-care this week. I also see sing. Some of y'all need to get into singing. All right. You may be a singer. Or you may want to write um, or just work on the songs that you sing this week. Make sure you're listening to positive music. You also have meditate. Some of you guys need to meditate this week. Maybe go outside and meditate or meditate in your home so you can connect with your ancestors. Some of you need to meditate and to connect with your ancestors or uh, to gain some level of guidance about the situation through your ancestors. To stop overthinking it. Um, and you also have uh, the gym, like building strength. Some of y'all need to work on your bodies or go to the gym, maybe blow off some steam that way. Yeah, because I feel like some of you are really stressed out or really worked up about this situation. But I don't feel like it's as bad as you think it is. And I honestly don't know if this person had bad intentions for you in the past. I just feel like somebody has been disappointed to the point where they're like, I don't want to revisit this or I don't see potential for growth. Um, but there is potential if you're willing to do your part and your part would be forgiving this person and moving forward. Maybe you feel like you've done that enough. Can't tell you what to do can't tell you what to do power for so it's really going to be up to you but I feel like there's somebody around you that wants to work on something with you they're just waiting for you um like they might need to change their perspective yes on a situation as well but I'm getting like they could be waiting for you or you're waiting for them some of y'all are waiting for them waiting for them to forgive you and they're the one that's having the issues with forgiving because you triggered something in them any more advice? I actually already started pulling oracles, but let me see another advice card. Any more advice for pile four? I mean, honestly, pile four, if you want something, if you really want something, besides you focusing on your work and your creative projects, if you really want something, your guides are saying, go ahead and make an effort towards it. So again, I don't know if you want this person or if you just want to work on something by yourself in general or what's going on but i'm getting like put your energy towards positive things don't dwell too much on negativity it's not beneficial for you nor this relationship yes look you got 27 somebody could be born on the 27 somebody could also be a uh Virgo or Libra it says spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime this person could be some sort of soulmate of yours all right. You also have ask for help. It says, what do you really need? Be willing to act, accept support. Excuse me. 14. Somebody could be born on the 14th. Yeah, look under that. You got be supportive. 45. That's a nine again. So Virgo and Libra. It says make a genuine effort to show you care. Some of you, there's something here about needing to feel supported or loved on or cared for. Maybe this person didn't feel that way in the past or maybe this is you not feeling that way somebody needs to communicate this somebody might even need to ask for some help on something your oracle that came out for you you have i surrender to a power greater than me butterflies are significant you also have obstacles are detours in the right direction okay and the universe has my back. I choose to learn through love. I feel like any obstacles you're facing at this time, again, whether it's with this person or in the past, was of benefit to you. So whether you know it or not, it was meant to happen. A lot of the stuff that you're experiencing was meant to happen to help you learn how to let go and let God or to learn how to redirect your focus. Again, maybe somebody was trying to control a situation in the past or maybe like I'm getting the vibe where it's like your expectations could have gotten crushed or you were disappointed by somebody. 
because you had some sort of major expectation off of this person. And I feel like the disappointment you may have experienced with inner connection wasn't meant to say that you weren't going to get what you wanted, but it was letting you know that you have way less control than you think you do. So whatever you expected, again, sometimes there are delays. Sometimes there are things that get in the way of connections coming together, whatever it is. That doesn't mean you give up hope. That doesn't mean you don't still believe in whatever it is you're trying to aim for. But sometimes it lets you know that you don't have control. Okay, and I feel like that was a lesson that you were learning in the past. So your guides are saying, now that you see the lesson, now that you can see beyond what you were experiencing, how are you... How are you going to handle this situation? You know, do you want to move forward with this person or no? If you don't want to move forward, that's fine. But if you do, you have the room to do it. You just got to work on forgiving or something like that. All right, Pile 4. That's all that I got, Pile 4. I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this message. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you did. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below to book a personal reading. Book a personal reading if you need further guidance. Um... Yeah, and channel songs are down below. Did I say that? <laughs> I always forget if I said that. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.